the lovely people at Ultra Human know clearly that I like a gadget and so got in touch and asked me whether or not I would review their Ultra Human Ring. First of all, I didn't have a clue what that was, but of course, I'm happy to review anything and give my honest, honest feedback. So, what they did first of all, is they sent me this lovely box with lots of different ring sizes in there. The actual Ultra Human Ring has a, I'll explain what it is in a minute, but actually has a little uh, nodule, let's call it, in the ring, which is what gauges uh, your body temperature and a whole host of other things. So you have to wear it for a number of days on either your index finger, middle finger or ring finger to make sure that it stays in position and doesn't spin around everywhere. Once you know what size ring you want, then you can get your Ultra Human Ring. So they come in a range of different colours. I'll just look at the, uh, tell you about the aesthetics first of all. They come in a range of different colours. I tend to wear silver jewellery. This is the high polished silver. Um, so I went for silver. But they do gold, they do brushed silver, they do a whole range of colours, it's about five or six different colours you can choose from. And then once you have chosen your size and the material, then you get this lovely box with your Ultra Human ring in it. And in the box comes the actual uh, instruction manual, the ring itself, and a charger. All very good. So I was very excited to try this out and understand what it's all about. You have to download the app, which I will show you now. Um, so the app is simply called Ultra Human. And once you've got the app, it will um, measure various different things. So it talks about your sleep cycle a lot, but it doesn't just talk about sleep and how to improve your sleep. It talks about all the different health benefits as well. So the ring itself gauges your temperature. It also tracks movement, so it counts your steps. It also looks at your sleep cycle and if you're having a restless night and if you're tossing and turning. And once it's got to learn a bit about you, which takes a number of days, it will still track you and tell you different things, um, but it gets to learn about you a little bit more, then you can start to get some real insights into your uh, sleep patterns, what's good for you, how to improve certain things. So I'll just tell you a little bit about it now. So one of the things that I've been hearing a lot recently, everybody loves a, a nice cup of coffee on the morning, it actually tells you when your caffeine window is open. Only on a TV programme this morning, they were saying about how you should avoid having caffeine for maybe a first hour when you wake up, because your body also already goes into stress mood where you're moving around and you release cortisol. Um, so to avoid caffeine for the first um, hour. So this will tell you when your caffeine window opens. Okay, no big deal, I guess. Track your movement. Now you can see here, I'm an amber, tells you that I'm not moving around enough. Um, so it'll tell you how many calories you've burned based on the movement. And because it's not a watch or your phone in your pocket that's tracking your movement, because it's your actual finger, which is tracing your heart rate, as well as actually how much you're moving around, it can tell you how well you're doing. So I'm in amber at the moment, it's telling me I've definitely not moved enough around today. But what you can do is you can go further. Where we've got movement, you can actually click on here and it will tell you how many steps you've done, how many calories, the time is in the frequency throughout the day, how many hours you've been active, workout frequency, you can track that back quite far as well. And you can go a step further and in your movement index, it will give you an idea as to how to improve your overall health by movement. Uh, we have our stress index. Mine at the moment is red, 92. Why is that? Well, it's not just about stress in terms of how your mental stress is or anything like that. It's also talking about the cortisol that's being released in your body and therefore, you know, how you can, if you are, uh, one of the indicators is stimulated, for example, and how you are more alert during that time and it's a good time for working things. And again, you can click into all the different indicators and learn a bit more. Sleep, I'm on a green. So my sleep patterns, well, I have four, four full sleep cycles and again you can click into that and it will tell you different things about your sleep pattern for example my temperature was slightly raised last night um, i had a restful night's sleep but it wasn't brilliant it could be improved and again you can click into the indicators and it'll tell you how you can potentially improve your sleep it could be that you don't eat so late on a night or don't drink caffeine or alcohol too late and i also talk to you about screen time and how that can affect your sleep patterns as well Dynamic recovery, we also have different indicators in there. This is all to do with your uh, resting heart rate, 
um, and also um, different variables. If you are female, it can track your cycle. Um, talks about your, um, uh, it's got, oh, it's got a smart alarm, so it'll wake you up early on in the morning. So I could go into a lot more detail about all the different indicators, but as you can see, there's lots of different things in here that are really, really good for helping track your health, track your sleep patterns, but it also gives you indications on how you can improve those things. So if you are struggling to sleep, it'll give you things that you can do to help improve your sleep, which will then improve how you are during the day and your activity and how alert you are and things like that. So having never really heard of these kind of gadgets before, I've got a smartwatch, which tells me a certain amount of things, but I tend to only look at the steps, but this is quite insightful and quite interesting. Whether or not you actually look at the indicators and then do anything about them, well, that's down to each individual, isn't it? Um, things like drinking caffeine later on at night, I have now tried to avoid um, and I have seen my health improve, but also things as well, like your body temperature, because it gauges that. Uh, going back a week or so ago, I was actually starting to feel poorly, but the app told me beforehand that my temperature was slightly raised and therefore it could be an indication of my body fighting infection. So it can give you some indicators as well as to what your body's going through. And if you then need to rest more, take some more vitamins, whatever it might be, uh, it can help you. So if you like a gadget, or if you're interested in terms uh, of things like your sleep patterns and your um, uh, circadian cycles and things like that, then it is a really, really handy little gadget. And like I said, it is quite insightful about your well-being and how much fitness and everything like that that you are uh, undertaking and it tells you the best times of day to eat etc so really really good fun if you're interested take check out their website ultra human they do two different this is the ultra human air ring there is another one there's also apps that you can also attach uh to the app as well so this is the free app that comes with the ring itself but there are add-ons that you can pay for if you want to um which is also to do with things like uh calorie tracking and things like that so it's really really interesting like i said check out their website all the links will be below have a look see what you think but overall it's a really good gadget and really interesting to go through and uh help you understand about your body and your sleep and everything a bit more